Hi there and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to take all the scrap wood and we're going to turn it into Easter decor. So let's get started. Life goes up and it goes down. This is actually the first piece of scrap wood that I cut up and this was going to be a nice easy project. If you don't have a way to cut your wood, you can always get Home Depot or Lowe's to cut your wood for you. I painted all the books in DIY beadboard and the bindings in these three spring colors. And I had to do two coats in each of these colors. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up. I'm not ready. Let me have another day. Don't wake up. I use my Cricut Joy to cut out the letters for the books, but you can always buy letters from any craft store or Dollar Tree. I've had a cameo silhouette for years and at Christmas I got a Cricut Joy and the first time I used it I had no problems taking off the vinyl from the transfer paper. So I was so shocked when I could not get it off. I watched YouTube videos, you know, going, how do you get the vinyl off the transfer paper? And so I know because it's a, now, I know because it's a smart vinyl, there is like a, um, kind of a trick to it and they the ones I watched said after you do it a while you get a technique so I waited to record until I did the letters from the th third book that I was doing thinking I would have a technique by then but I do not I still do not have a technique I don't even know if I'm going to use that Cricut Joy again I was so frustrated so let me know do you have a Cricut Joy do you have those same problems what is your technique but I'm not at this point I thought maybe it was the white vinyl that there was something wrong with it and at Christmas time I had used the black vinyl so I thought I'm going to use the black vinyl again but no I still have the same problems and only because I recorded it, I know that it took me 11 minutes to get it off the transfer paper. And when I finally got it on the books, I covered it in DIY liquid patina. I really need to organize that. But I picked out about six or seven different kinds of ribbons to make a messy bow. I love a messy bow. You can't really mess it up. To make a messy bow, just determine the length of the ribbon you'd like to use. Cut a variety of ribbons, lace, you can use yarn, rickrack, and cross them in a random order until you've determined that your bow's big enough. And then I just take a zip tie and I put it around the ribbon and I cinch it tight and you're pretty much done. You just have to fluff. I used burlap ribbon to wrap around the books and hold them in place and I hot glued it down and added my messy bow. And you're pretty much done. I think these books are so cute. And I put on the front of them three of my favorite things. For our next project, we're going to need scrapbook paper. I recently got a bandsaw and I thought cutting out some eggs would be a good first project. If you don't have a way to cut out wood, you can always get the signs from Dollar Tree that have the egg shapes to do this project. And I used the same paint colors for these eggs. After I cut out the scrapbook paper, I applied it to the front of the eggs using liquid patina. And put a final coat of liquid patina over the top and let everything dry. And then I use sandpaper to get off any of the excess paper. So it leaves a nice smooth edge. To keep it simple, I went to the design center in my Cameo silhouette and picked out a design that was already in the shape of an egg. And then I just had to size it to fit my egg. Thank you. 
This was just not my night for vinyl. I could not get this vinyl to stick to the egg. This time I really do think it was the vinyl though because I had the same problem in one of the DIYs coming up. Even though I had to speed it up, I just had to go nice and slow and I got everything to stick. And then I covered everything in liquid patina to keep those letters down. And then all my eggs went into this carton. I have to thank my brother for these cartons. He orders wine online and this is how it comes. I used some of the flowers that were left over from my last video and this is how it turned out. I have three brothers and so I knew one of them probably had a bandsaw that he wasn't using. So I asked around and sure enough one of my brothers did. So I was dreaming of getting this brand new bandsaw. I was very excited and this is the bandsaw I got. However, it works great. I was thrilled with it so doesn't matter how it looks as long as it works. For this next DIY, I took a thrifted basket and added white wax to lighten it up a little. And then I just wanted to make a little sign to put on the front that said carrots five cents, so I thought I could write it. But no, each time I mess something up. So then I just used my cameo silhouette and I made a stencil. When you're stenciling on fabric, you want to make sure that you have not overloaded the brush with paint. You want to make sure you take that excess paint off. And then I frayed the edges a little. My carrots were really leftover Christmas trees that I had cut out that didn't get used. And I used the bandsaw to round the corners on the trees to turn them into carrots. I drilled little holes to add greenery. And the carrots were painted in coral blush. I hot glued a green burlap ribbon around my basket. I added my little carrot sign and I put in my carrots, but I thought they were boring. And I was watching another YouTube channel, Stella Rose Boutique. I did Debbie Beard's DIY video boot camp with her. And she did this to her carrots with a little fan brush and the brown paint. And I think they look so much better. I couldn't make all the Easter decor in eggs and bunnies. I needed to make something that represented the real reason for Easter. And I used all my favorite mediums, IOD molds and IOD transfers. I put links to two videos in the description box that go into more detail on using molds and transfers. I used fusion paint in putty to paint my sign and weld bond glue to glue the clay to the wood. I let everything dry overnight and then I painted everything in the second coat of putty. You saw my fail number two in the earlier DIY and that was for this sign. So I went into the Silhouette Studio and I made my own sign in a font that's a little bit wider and it was much easier to weed. Weeding vinyl is the process of removing the unwanted vinyl from your cut design. I like to use a needle to get out those little tiny pieces of the vinyl. Everything was going well up to this point. It weeded easily, it went on the transfer paper easily, but then when I tried to put it on the wood, it would not stick. That's why I think it was the vinyl. I think maybe it was too long in a hot room over the summer. 
I don't know, I just, I've never had such problems with vinyl before. I wanted to use an Easter song from an old hymnal to put on my sign. I couldn't remember the name of the song to look it up in the hymnal, but I could hum the song, so I called my mom to help me. I sprayed a little water to get that feathery edge look. And the paper was pretty thin, so I only put liquid patina on the wood and then I laid down the sheet music. And then I put a light coat of liquid patina over the top of the music. I have a folder of bits and pieces of transfers. This was the perfect project to use those pieces. Then I went over the transfers with a little sandpaper. I added some black wax to give my sign that aged look. And I love how my sign turned out. I had so much fun cutting out those eggs. I thought I would cut out some bunnies, but it was a little more difficult, so I cut out one bunny. I found a graphic online that I could trace and I used carbon paper to trace the face onto my bunny. And then I used a paint pen to color in the face. I watered down some pink paint for her cheeks and her ears. I added another little messy bow and she was done. Here are all my projects. Let me know if you have a favorite one. All things must pass. But I'm not gonna wake up, wake up I'm not ready, let me have another day Don't wake up, wake up Keep it steady, cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up No, no, not yet, whoa No, not yet, whoa No, no, not yet, whoa I'm afraid I'll end up nowhere They keep saying I'll be fine But how you know that I'll be there I hope today inspires you to try something new. Maybe try that bandsaw and uh, don't have your husband cut it out for you. Maybe cut it out yourself. It was a lot of fun and it was way more fun than the cricket. So anyway, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Keep it steady cause I'm happy I'm not gonna wake up.